it's Vanna and I'm coming to you with a new pen day video. I know we just had the new Twisby video, but I finally, finally, finally got my Lamy All-Star Petrol and Lamy All-Star Lilac in. Um, there was a harrowing, it was a harrowing experience and I have something special to do later because of it. And I'll get into that long story later, but in case you don't care about the long story, um, yeah, we can just get into the pens. Um, I actually have recorded this video already, however, um, I messed up part of it and wanted to re-record it. So, unfortunately, I've lost a lot of the, nat the natural light that I had earlier, so we have to, we have to use the, we have to use the lamp light, unfortunately. But, I mean, it's not, it's not awful, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I prefer the natural light personally. I don't know what you think, but th uh, that's what I think. So I have the new special edition all-stars for this year. Um, I thought I'd compare them to some of the, uh, comparable colors that we have. Um, I have my lilac in a medium and I have my petrol in a fine and, um, we'll compare the lilac. So this is the lilac. This is the, uh, vibrant pink. And then I also have, I think it was called purple black or black purple. Um, I know that the vibrant pink and the black purple are pretty, pretty similar. They definitely look a lot more different when you have lilac sitting next to them. But yeah, that's what those look like. Unfortunately, I don't have my dark lilac pen. Um, I thought I had recently cleaned it, but it's not in, I don't know where it is. It's not where I thought it was so um I've been in the process of cleaning a bunch of pens and reorganizing stuff and so I, I it's it's somewhere it's just not where it's supposed to be so that's what these three look like next to each other and then um, I will show you the petrol and we'll do a little writing sample I mean it's just a Lamy pen but just in case you're not familiar with those this is the Lamy petrol it's lovely it's stunning I liked it enough that I actually got the um a ballpoint just because I like the little clicky thing. I don't have it with me. It's at work. I left it at work. Um, but I liked the color of the petrol so much that I ended up getting the ballpoint. Um, next I'm going to show it to you next to the All Star petrol. I kind of wish that this had the black clip like the uh, Safari does. Um, but I actually think I prefer the finish of the petrol version better. I like the color a little better. But there's that. And then I will show it to you next to um, the uh, Lamy All-Star Tourmaline. I'll move this out of the way so you can see what that looks like. Um, I can tell which is which because the Tourmaline's a little greener than the Pacific, which is a little bluer. It's maybe hard to tell because of the glare from the light, but... But yeah, so that's what those look like. Move that up a little bit and we'll put the petrol next to it. So that's what these look like. Uh, my nibs actually write pretty nicely because I have already uh, written with them in the previous iteration of this video. Um, but I'll go ahead and redo the writing sample. I filled the lilac pen with Lamy Dark Lilac because I know when we all saw that these two were being released that we were all kind of hoping that we would get a, um, I'm just going to do this side of the page. I know that we were all hoping that we would get a re-release of the inks. And that hasn't happened yet, but I'm going to still hold out hope, <laughs> even though it won't happen. And like I said, I have a medium nib on this. If it'll focus, I don't know that it will focus, so you can see it kind of, um, but yeah. It's actually a pretty juicy medium. This is the Lamy All Star Lilac with a medium nib. The ink is Lamy Dark Lilac. It's lovely. It's really, it writes really nicely. I typically don't like mediums, but the only options I had were medium, fine, and extra fine. 
in. So yeah, so I got a medium and a fine. Knowing full well, I will probably end up at some point just buying broad nibs and replacing them. I also kind of wish that they had the black nib on this like they do. Well, actually, I don't know if I still have the... Oh, yeah. Like they do on the petrol. I wish they would have done that. I wish they would have done the black hardware with the petrol. That's okay, though. We can't have everything we want. And this is uh, the Lamy All-Star Petrol. With a fine nib. I really love Lamy fine nibs. There we go. Yeah, writes like a dream. Writes like an absolute dream already zoomed in so yeah there you go now onto the onto the um awesome stuff that i have to share with you i'm gonna move these out of the way so the long story um hopefully you stick around to hear the long story it's not a requirement but it explains what happened so when i purchased these pens i purchased them from anderson pens and um, I got a, a notification. I was home the day they were delivered. Got a notification that they were delivered. I ran to the door immediately. Immediately I ran to the door. And um, they weren't there. And sometimes the post office says they've delivered a thing that doesn't actually get delivered until the next day. So I waited. It didn't show up Sunday. And I was like, well, Sunday's Sunday. So I'll give it till Monday. It didn't show up Monday. Um, and then I was like, okay, that sucks. So I contacted the post office because like, well, it's not, it's not Anderson Penn's fault that my pens didn't show up. You know what I mean? So I tried to contact the post office, explained what happened, whatever. I, and the day that these were allegedly delivered, I had gotten another package, but our mail showed up two hours later. So I don't know where these were because they weren't at my house. And they weren't, like, down the street at the neighbor's house. Because I walked down the street as well. <laughs> like, they weren't here. Um, yeah, so I don't know what happened to them. So, fast forward to, like, I don't know, a few days ago, I guess. Because, yeah, a few days ago, I was shopping for some other things on another website. And they had these pens in stock. So, I ordered them. Well, actually... Fast forward to a few days later, I had emailed Anderson Pens and um, con I contacted them. I was like, here's what happened. Um, I know you're not responsible for the post office, but I wasn't sure if I have the ability to like try to claim the insurance or if you need to do that or if you have like contacts that you can try to work with to see if they have a way to like check the package. And um, uh, the person who emailed me back at Anderson Pens says, um, probably won't have any luck because it says it was delivered, but we'll take it from here. Um, may need you to like, you know, issue a statement that you didn't get them or whatever, but I have what you ordered in stock and we'll go ahead and resend your package. So they resent my package, but before I heard back from them, I was shopping on another website and, uh, found that they had them in stock, but they didn't have, I think they had like opposite nib sizes in stock, or maybe I just didn't remember what I ordered. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I ended up ordering <laughs> two pens because <laughs> I still wanted them. And I was like, well, I'm never going to get them. Like the USPS said they're delivered. Like I'm never going to get them. I never expected that Anderson pens would like just send me a new order like I said it's not their fault that the postal service screwed up so I'm really thankful to Anderson pens thank you so much for reissuing my order because now I have the pens and if one day the other order magically shows up on my doorstep I will let them know and I will pay for them or whatever but in the meantime I ordered two new pens. I ordered the petrol in the medium this time and the lilac in the fine. So I don't need two sets of pens. <laughs> I don't need two sets of the same pens, not even different nib sizes. I just don't. They're cute, but I don't like them that much. Um, 
it's not like it's a Twisby transparent purple or anything. Hello. So I'm going to issue a giveaway. And I ordered converters for these pens. So each pen will come with a converter. And um, Anderson Pens was giving away pen sleeves which e with each pen that you ordered So while they had them in stock. So I got a pen sleeve for each color. But the place that I ordered these from was also giving away a pen sleeve, not per pen, but they were just, you got your choice between either the petrol or the lilac. So I have one of the pen sleeves, but if you, um, but I'm gonna give away the pen sleeve, the matching pen sleeve with each pen and a converter. And I'll end up, um, let me zoom this up. And what I'll end up doing is I'll just end up making like some ink samples for you for ho whoever wins. So I did a, I'm doing a raffle thingy, a giveaway thingy through Rafflecopter. And um, I did one for each pen. I was gonna do one big giveaway and then try two winners. And I didn't know, when I was looking around on Rafflecopter, I didn't know if I had the ability to do that without like upgrading it. And I'm like, I don't need to pay like tons of money for this because it's just a silly little giveaway. Um, so I did a giveaway for each pen. So you can enter one of them if you really like one of them. You could enter both of them if you want a chance to win both. Um, yeah, and then whoever wins will get the pen and the sleeve and the converter and um, some ink samples. And I can either choose the ink samples or um, or if you have something like you're you've been a viewer for a while and you have I have something that you're like oh I would love to try that could you send it to me then we can work out those details but yeah I will send it anywhere in the world as long as your country will accept a mail from the United States and yeah I just thought it'd be fun a fun way to give back I've been wanting to do a giveaway for a while and I just never like sat down to figure it out but then these showed up and I'm like I need to do something with these or I'm just gonna have extra lamy all stars lying around so yeah enter to win one. I'll post links to both giveaways in the description box below. And yeah, um, just to, I think there's like three ways to get entries. All you have to do is visit my YouTube page. That one's mandatory. Um, and then you can get a couple bonus entries by visiting my Twitch page. And I just did like a freebie bonus entry in case you wanted it. You just say, it just says hi. And then you just click on it. So yeah, so you don't have to like, you don't have to do anything special. Just visit the pages, follow or like, or subscribe if you feel like it. Um, but it's not, it doesn't matter. You don't have to do any of those things. Just visit the page and get your, I don't even know. Yeah. Anyway, I don't even know if it makes you visit the page. I don't know. I don't know. Those are just the choices. So you get three options. You get three entries and uh, you can enter once per day if you want to, to up your chances. I don't care. Um, yeah. So there you go. That's it. If you'd like to enter these giveaways, like I said, the links will be in the description box and you just have to click on them and do what it says and you're entered to win. You have to be comfortable giving me your uh, mailing name and address and your country, if you are outside of the United States, has to accept mail from the United States. So if you live in a country that doesn't accept mail, then please don't enter because that would be sad. Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Enjoyed taking a quick little look at uh, these brand new um, special edition All-Stars. I think the colors are really nice. Like I said, I really, really, really love the petrol. I'm kind of on the fence about the lilac. I feel like I like these colors a little better, but um, it's still really pretty and it uh, creates a nice gradation. Uh, gradation or ombre or whatever with the ones that we already have so I think it'll look nice in my pen case um but yeah yeah so anyway thank you so much I can speak thank you so much for watching and um good luck if you enter the giveaway I'm going to leave it here and also on my twitch page I have some I've kind, I'm kind of getting some of my gamer friends sort of sort of kind of into pens and I'm going to give them the option to also enter to win so um yeah yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. And um, I hope to see you again very soon with another video. I have lots of ink to swatch. Y'all have no idea. Y'all have no idea. I have like a couple bonus new pen days from pens that I got from some friends. And I've got some ink samples. I have lots of friend pen, pen friend inks to swatch. I have... I still have the stuff from Roxy for my birthday. I have stuff from Casey from like the last two birthdays. I have stuff from Ms. Turtle that she sent me because she was 
downsizing stuff. I don't even know if any of that's good still. I'm sure it is fine. I just got uh, some samples from the Countess Silver Creepy Nibs. I have tons of ink to swatch and I, yeah. It's been a little difficult with um, Rumi being home all the time. So I might just do like a voiceover -y thing or hope that he like takes a nap and I can record something. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll attempt to do a live stream when I have some time. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah. 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 Thank you so much for watching. Good luck if you choose to enter the giveaway. And I will see you again very soon. Take care. Love you. Bye.